Hey everybody, Danielle Hargenrader here, founder of Diabetes Dominator Coaching and the Diabetes Empowerment Summit. Here today with a quick video that you can show to someone that you live with or that you may be traveling with so that they can feel better prepared and you guys can have a little bit better peace of mind if it happens to come up that you need a glucagon injection. So glucagon, which is right here, sometimes it'll be an orange case, sometimes it'll be in a red case, depending on which brand your insurance company allows you to get. Uh, that's another story, but it is used in the case of a hypoglycemic emergency, which means a low blood sugar where the person who is having the low blood sugar is unresponsive. They cannot treat the low blood sugar themselves, so they need somebody else to come in and help them. So this is the glucagon kit, and we were having a meeting this weekend, and there were people there who have had type 1 diabetes for three years or 30 years, and some of them had never had to use glucagon, thankfully, uh, and some of them had thought about it, but they were had their partners there, and the partners were kind of feeling a little bit apprehensive, and we talked about how great it is to be prepared in state of emergency, right? So we're always going to be fearful. Of course, if someone that we love or someone that we care about is unresponsive, it's an extraordinarily scary situation. But it's better to be scared and prepared than scared and have never gone through the steps before. So this is a quick video that can show you how to get through that really quickly in the case, which hopefully never happens, that you have to give glucagon or you have to give glucagon to yourself because that has also happened with many people. I know that your blood sugar is dropping and you know that you are not going to be able to eat enough carbs and you can mix up the glucagon and inject yourself. So the first thing I wanna say is that it is best if you inject the glucagon into a very fatty part of the person's body. Uh, a butt cheek is really good, a hip, somewhere where there's a lot of fat or skin that you can pinch up and inject the glucagon into. I'm going to have to remove you right now so I can get this video done. Um, so, and the other thing to think about is, is that it's a quick situation. In a situation where an emergency like that is happening, everything is going to go by very fast. And the faster you respond, the better. Take a deep breath, take the four steps that it takes to get this glucagon prepared and inject it. Um, I have had to have glucagon given to me twice in the 28 years I've been living with type 1 diabetes, but the reality of it is, even if you have type 2 diabetes, if you are insulin dependent, meaning you're taking insulin externally, you're, you're giving yourself insulin, hypoglycemia is unavoidable. And so no matter what type of diabetes you have, if you take insulin, it's really good to share with someone that you love how to do this, and it's better to be prepared. So glucagon comes in a kit like this, right? This is an expired kit, so I highly recommend that if you have an expired kit of glucagon, that you take a few minutes to sit down with someone that you live with and say, hey, if this ever happens, this is exactly what you have to do. And then, of course, call 911. Actually, call 911 first and then throw the phone on the floor. Keep them on speakerphone while you are giving the glucagon. Okay, so the packet comes here. You open it up, click, and inside. You have this really long, complicated pamphlet that I promise you that in the moment you're going to be like, I don't give a crap what this says. So it gives you four quick steps on the inside of the cap, right? But it really is just this. You take out the needle that is already pre-filled with a liquid solution. And this is a vial, which looks like a tiny little vial of insulin. It has what looks like a little, it almost looks like a glucose tablet in there. It's hard, right? So you pop the lid off of the, tap, of the vial. Pop it off, right? Drop it on the floor. Take this little vial, pull the lid off of the syringe. Inject the solution, the liquid solution, into the vial, right? Swirl it around. You'll see it dissolving almost immediately. You don't even need to take the needle out because it doesn't even matter. Once you see that it's dissolved, which it already is, right? You pull that liquid back down into the syringe, right? You don't want to have a lot of air in there, so you take that out. You immediately take the liquid that's in here. You pull up the person's fat. We're going to practice on an orange. Jam it in, inject it in, pull it out, and hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully it doesn't spit out of the person. Um, it won't, and you wait. And the reaction is, is that that will bring the blood glucose level up and the person will come to as an ambulance is being called. I still recommend that even if you think you have everything covered just to be safe, you call an ambulance as well. And the person coming out of the low blood glucose or the hypoglycemic episode 
Uh, for me, what happened each time is that I vomited, and I've had that told to me many times from other people. So that is actually a natural thing that happens when your blood glucose fluctuates super quickly. It can make you very nauseous, and that can be something that can happen. So don't get super concerned if that happens. It's not anything that you did wrong. And I would just urge you, if you have the expired kit, take a few minutes, sit down with the person that you love, take a moment to get prepared, because this all just took two seconds for me to do that. I've never done it to myself. I just have it in my head. Do it a couple of different times. Try it again once you're done. You know, just pretend that there's something in the vial, pull it out and push it into the orange. Do it as many times as you need and hopefully you'll never need to do this with an actual person. But if you do, you'll be prepared. So feel free to share this video with anyone that you love, that you may be traveling with, that it would be helpful for them to have a little bit of getting their mind wrapped around the possibility of saving someone that they love from a hypoglycemic episode, okay? I will see everybody on the next video and take care.